Hey, can you hear me? Testing one. Two, three. Is this working?
Computer, or ha sure. it seems like the only option, right? I guess so. So maybe you should just sit in the front row. Yeah. I'll be like, here I am sitting in the front row. I'm such a supportive girlfriend. You won't tell your index for the keys. Oh, Pat Belifa. How did so I guess they're gonna. Um, they're going to channel it upstairs. upstairs. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to figure out, is, is it coming in? I, is it getting picked up by the computer? Um, it looks like it is, yes. Is that, it is. Oh, hang on, let me see if Hello, I Hello, bookstore. Am <laughs> I here? You're here for books. I want to say... Sorry, phone call. And then I want to, like... There's going to be people sitting on the corner. Maybe, but maybe not. I just want to see if you can hear me from over here. Ah. Yeah. Whoa. Um, yeah, you can. I can see myself being picked up. Sure, sure. That's great. Great. Oh. Look at how tiny this Making of Americans is. Oh. I get so squished. Ooh, Martha. What's that? Let me see the front. Oh. Oh. Sexual outlaw versus sex police. Who are the sex police? Mm -hmm. Strike them down. Oh, Mary Shelley. Hello? That's a short tea. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hi, Nat. Da -da. So just yeah, save your seat. Yeah. 
Oh, this is coming now. Are we gonna drink? Yeah, right. Maybe we should get the side or something. Yeah. Okay. Your bag on there. Right behind you. Perfect. I mean, it could be better. That might even be better. Okay. How about your here? I just, well, for in terms of getting to the sound um, for this. Yeah. Alright. Let's sit together there. Was it on up there? There's a microphone to set. Oh. <laughs> We're done. Oh, I want to believe that, and yet I know that it is also coming from the computer, so. There is no microphone. <laughs> but look, it is like. No, it's totally broadcasting through this Google Plus. He's just tricking everyone. Tricky. He's going to hear that, and then he'll come down. But mm -hmm. it's a lag. Oh. Um, <laughs> that is a trickster. He'll probably hear it in like a minute. Oh, it's that long? Yeah. Got it. I heard myself talking to you guys upstairs. And then walking up the stairs. <laughs> I was like, oh, stop leaving. <laughs>
Uh, I wanted to take a center of day uh -huh. onto the event page and Facebook was like not doing it. 
Oh, really? Yeah, it was like okay. you discovered a glitch. Here. Like they were just like, oh, no, let's swallow the baby. Yeah, well, that, um, do you know who does that? I do. It was a not big mystery. No, I am. It's totally, but it was a big mystery. And I was yeah, like, broadcast it to, to the world. Jake Tigwin Miller, and he was like, I don't know. Oh, like, so I'm he figured it out. But this, so, <laughs> like, Trisha and Joe Kaplan and others were like a buzz when someone discovered it. And everyone was like, who is this? And yeah. no one knew, and I didn't know. And then I found out it's um, McGregor's student at Pratt. Oh, and cool. This one class. And so the ringleader is this total sweetheart named Jack McManovich. I kind of thought would come tonight because he's just like comes to a lot of things. Like, Uh, attention paid, I think, is really. Well, yeah, because yeah. you know, some of those tickets, a lot of people don't get like too much. Yeah, well, it's been so simple, I feel like, because there's also the voltage that's doing a lot of Well, yeah, that's not. So it's been a nice, like, double. Anybody could be listening to us. <laughs> Should we ask the YouTube public? <laughs> I think so. Bring us chocolate. But if he's watching, I don't think anybody else has available. Except, of course, for the hems of mock turtle and peasant. This is your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel, Mock Turtle Wonder. Oh, I didn't know. It just says refresh your mind. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I mean, then you'll be like five recordings. 
Okay. 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 Okay
Anyone else is saying that this is the issue that she's at? And how's it? Yes. And etc. Good job. You can get the good job. No? Yeah, you're good. These are really experimental for the 14th century. Look at that shit. Well, right, I'm obviously. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Dark? Hello. Oh my god, this is in the rhythm. Okay. 
Oh, it's a purple. Oh, it's a purple. Oh, it's a purple. Oh, it's a purple. Oh, it's a I sold books. I like had a sale where I sold books at half price, like in the yard and burned the book down. Yeah. Otherwise, it gets yeah.
girl, a girl walks in it, too many things or something. But I have never experienced like such intense power from a movie where I felt like a different. I don't know. Hopefully, it was just, what's it called? Walks home alone at night. Just look it up. No, I don't think you'll be able to find too much about it. Yeah, I, I'm writing. I'm gonna write about it because it seems so important to the world. But I don't think it's really super viewable yet because it's kind of making the like film festival bullshit circle, and this could be huge. I'm very bad with people names, but it's Lily Anna, and then the last name is Iranian. Two, it's A N A for Anna, but then the last name is nothing. Well, yeah, Farsi. Yeah, I don't think it's Farsi, but it's shot in L A. Because she's an LA based director. It's, I don't know. It's incredible. She's skateboards. It's a movie or in real life? Oh, in the movie. Yeah. Skateboarding vampires in LA? Mm-hmm. Okay. But it's not straight. Sounds straight? No. Okay. It sounds good. I don't know. Yeah. I'll have to watch it. Well, this thing is probably already down there. Yeah, it was the opening night of the new director and stuff. It just it went to Sundance and then it went there and then. I feel like when, when movies are small, I just wish you could like write to the person. And your like, movie is so important to me. Yeah. Yeah. I like just have it. How much I mean, $20. There is. It's complicated. Right for a whole thing, and you can't let it flip out. She doesn't even really have a trailer. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want to Yeah. And someone like me would, you know? I don't care if it's that I mean, we're not first, but it's a matter of the best um, Nat, I hear you. No, you hear me. We can hear you. We can hear you all there. We know what you're doing. We're channeling down here. I bet you're standing. We're sitting on that stool looking at Facebook. Do you work here? No. You deserve it. It's a better channel. I'm working on trying to work here, so I come by and observe. Uh huh. Uh huh.
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. 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 you. Thank 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 you. Um, but I think that it's like very well. I'll, I'll read some of it to you. Oh, He's listening to us on the internet. <laughs> it's not on the internet, remember? It's through the internet. Yeah, but that means it's on it for a fleeting moment. It's on the internet. It's on their website. Go to the NSA website and look up everything that happens.
been completed by the borderlands, where the train dissects the two domains side Extraction of those I call it hot. One lit city, one lit by dark, and it's poison. When the light spills its projection on the carbon walls, it reveals the callous interior, which is obsessive in its cleanliness. And the smooth surface is mirror space where everything is kept with an absolute disregard to Yasuo's vision. The same for a small rectangular opening in the north facing wall. The interior is organized like a clean slate somewhere in the cosmos. Discovery slaves pure and geometrically. Yaslo is one of the characters in the book. Um, entertains a cynic coddled by a sweatless pulsation. The carbon rests in the the, the carbon is. The unknown to be done. The light is what leaves us, what returns. Backing refuses the symbols for these two worlds, revealing a place free to enter. The dreamer brings terminal into existence, but does so Economy and then on this compromise that the city of glass makes room for all its dichotomies. Terminal is the prime example. Permanent acts as the uh, cosmic hierarchy, a problem predicated on the wall of right, where every being, human being, and Degenerate towards the beast or ascend towards the gods. The discovery only enter entrances through two large swinging doors that mimic something parallel to its frontier pass. One door would prop on the other occasionally and let in the purple tone of the night, seep in like a heavy river shrouded in a familiar illusion of forgetting, attributing to that which is the process of being lost. Like Anton lost the very forms that he wished to abolish. No adjectives are there to describe experiences that are purely internal. I remember the gestures lost to the print on film. By the time this decamp the peaks and the rivers still momentarily form gorges between the current vehicles, then Timaeus and I will begin shooting on film. But the sparksman melted, and with each pull of the horizon shiftless as the air got hotter and the water began prowling for augmentation. To make the serious handle to me it's and I face the tankers lost in the muddle, settled for air. We walk past the red and white convenience store. On the pavement lies a dollar bag of candy filled with small colored sour feet. Someone had dropped it. We channeled through a labyrinth of freshly trimmed cypress hedges growing under uninspired lurk around Timaeus' old dodge. They are dressed in blacks, trying to make their money as bartenders. 
They get out to the concrete wall and the safeguard parking lot. Ferguson strands under a generic baseball cap. They lean up against the old dodge. A from Theo. The one with the baseball cap stretches out his hand from the end. The curly haired man will keep certain the thing is out. It's late, man. You're sober, right? To me, this race is Theo. The curly haired fellow puts his cigarette out against the concrete wall. Twist the butt until it wedges and Theo jumps in excitement. Hang on, let's not be Dominique. Who pulls in the last bit of tobacco into his lungs and looks over at us. The store clerk peers up at us from the counter like a visible fortress surrounded by fire bodies. His gaze cautiously the premises. Come on, get in. I grow impatient. Okay, but you have to tell me about that clown, Yaslo, and the other clown, Kaita. We want to hear about the clown. What other deal? Theo and Dominique execute my ball and cavort. They don't get along, I see. Timaeus does not answer as himself. Timaeus keeps the tint them tinted because they remind him of the former tears. We need to uncover is tucked under a quilted leg in the convenience store towards Iron Gate to let up some steam. Timaeus friends are hugging in the back seat and talking about palm trees. Iron Gate is another bar and it's damp with rot. The floor is thirsty for more liquor. Then at some point, both friends start clearing out when the lights soak the room. Go home, the bartender yells, and politely all the bodies, plastic cups, and and bags, plaid shirts, sweeping off the liquor. Back like Canadians, using gifts away, came to say goodbye. My clothes drenched in various Kikoma hushed in passive timber. I spot a mustache. Some mustache groomers behind the bar, but not a female in sight. From one window, I could see the dust rising into the clouds to settle on another day in the area offices. The last ice was perhaps a mountain. I was playfully catching the debris and locking it as the machine surface. The system submitted the wary belt of the menacing moon, transformed into a blood bulb, and then what was lit was the entrance of the bar. How did find find as, as soon as the lights came on? He was sitting at the bar waiting at me. He had turned a tiny corner of it into a mini lounge with cocktail umbrellas and the sand he found in his pockets from our last visit to the beach. He had squandered his finding. He was also extremely jovial. I began laughing at him. No one ever shows your enthusiasm, I tease. Timaeus' friends were sleeping on the floor and fretted in their dreaming of the terror of the dirty carpet. Thanks. Those are doing the right things. No, I don't know how to work that. I hope it's working. Is it working? It's like a minute left. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know whether it's working or not. Um, okay. 
So the next reader tonight will be um, Emily Russo. Um, Emily Russo um, has a wide variety of different kinds of work, I think, have uh, different ways of working. Um, and so you will hear one of those ways of working, or I mean the potential uh, multitude of ways of working in one work that will happen soon. Um, and um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to hearing it. And here's Emily Russo. read um, from a recent project called Bay, um, which is a little weird to read from because it's quite visual. Um, it's available actually as a PDF download on Gauss PDF, which is a really um, wonderful publishing project curated by Gordon Fahler. Um, so it's sort of, um, well, I'll just, I'm going to read my process notes and then I'm going to read some example examples from, from um, So I made it using Gertrude's back. of the days, the pronoun they. Um, so I guess I initially said about to kind of physically make that horizon of days um, available. Um, so that's what this project started. So part one, I read stanzas in meditation. So after I retyped the stanzas and sort of so on the word they, um, I made scans. So I scanned the recto and verso of each. And um, thread, so the text itself is quite, I guess, visually um, present. Um, so then the second part of this project was me sort of transcribing those days. Um, so that's sort of description. Um, so part two, while extracting references of the prime by line, I made some intuitive divisions. In most cases, I included only the word directly following they. In the line ending with they, the word preceding it. So Stein's work. Um, so read a few from the transcription. <laughs> Whatever. Um, stanza 10. They remember. They might which they not. They will. They may. They will. They will. They made made unkind. They asked. They like.
entire way need Um, yeah. uh, tonight, I want to share a bit of my research into how St. Sebastian came to be the unofficial queer saint. I'll draw a little bit from our history and literary history, jumping discipline. Digging St. Sebastian sort of everywhere. Mm -hmm. 